Do I involve students in my work? Yes, I do. And the reason I like to involve students in my work is the fresh perspective of unbiased youth. So, you know, I've, I've been around this block a few times. And, you know, if you've been around so long, you, you sort of, you have all these assumptions. And sometimes these assumptions are good. And sometimes these assumptions maybe are really inhibitory of true innovation. So when you bring in kids in your lab, students, they're all kids from my perspective, bring in students, they don't have any preconceptions. They look at things from a fresh, they will challenge dogma. Or I don't believe it. Or and they have the energy of youth that they will work at it seven days in a row, 16 hours a day, because they think their idea is correct. And I love it. I love it. So the idea is to harness that energy, that, that intellectual, fiery, youthful energy in a way that, well, that it's productive. So, so my job really is to sort of steer, take, take this, this tiger and steer it the right way and say, go. And some of the, <laughs> there are students that had ideas to make synthetic cytokines. My lab makes synthetic cytokines. We engineer stuff. And there's like literally thousands and thousands of combinations you could do and it's, how do you choose? And some of my students said, well, I want to, you know, make this kind of synthetic hormone. And I'd say, why are you going to do that? It's not going to work. He said, I want to do it because I think this will work. I said, fine. It's not going to work. It's part of the learning process. You need to stumble and fall so you learn from your mistakes. Some of our best discoveries were those mistakes. So yes, I love to have students, but I also like to have grown-ups.